it is very important for every driver to know how to properly install a load lock. Without proper load securement, the freight could shift and cause it to be damaged. To use a load lock horizontally, you will place one load lock at the bottom of the pallet by opening the locking mechanism, extending the bars so that the pads are touching each wall, and locking the bar into place. Once you've secured the bottom, place another load bar towards the top of the pallet. Place the bottom load bar first. Older trailers may have walls that will expand, causing the top load bar to come loose while installing. Here's a real-life example of poor cargo securement, and what happened because of it. Here's what was done to fix that problem after restacking the product. You may need to use a load lock vertically to support a single pallet from shifting. You may have a load lock that is not long enough. In this case, you want to use a block of wood or something to support the bottom of the load bar. This will allow it to reach the ceiling, extend it to the ceiling and lock it into place. For securing your load, take a quick look inside to see how the frame is loaded. Is there space between the pallets? The more loose the trailer is loaded, the more likely you are to have a cargo claim if you are relaying to another driver and your load is sealed, exchange load bars with the driver so that you don't get left with none. If no load locks are used or they are not installed properly, your freight is likely to shift and could be damaged. This can cause a loss of revenue in freight claims and reduced productivity for the driver. It is the driver's responsibility to make sure each load is secure.